Yo, what's up? This is Christian and in this video I want to show you a roadmap that will take you roughly one year that will get you from noob to pro. So I'm gonna break this down in uh, time specific uh, slots if that makes sense and I'm gonna tell you what you should be learning for that specific time slot. So it should be pretty straightforward and uh, let's not waste any time. Okay, so we have one year. I mean, this year is gonna be split in a few phases, okay? First phase is gonna last one month and this is gonna be your HTML and CSS phase. So this first phase, it's about making sure that you can create any layout you see using HTML and CSS, okay? And I've made multiple videos about this. You can search them on my channel. But the main challenge is to understand Flexbox, okay? No grid, none of that. Flexbox and to recreate something that uh, a website that you are, you know, using, if that makes sense, okay? And here I have this document where I'm talking about the most important tags. I'm gonna actually link this in the description of this video. And I'm linking up the most important tags. So you don't need to know every single tag that's out there. You just need to know a few, in my opinion at least. And then with time and with experience and with need, you learn more. But here I'm gonna outline for you all the most important HTML tags that are out there. And I'm also gonna outline the most important CSS properties that you should learn. And then I'm gonna outline the most important Flexbox properties that you should learn. So I'm not gonna tell you to learn everything that's under the sky because that's not important. The most important thing is to know a few things, know them really well and know how to apply those things in every single situation, okay? And this phase is gonna take you roughly one month. It's gonna take you, it's gonna take you roughly one month to create this website from scratch. Probably you weren't expecting that, you were expecting something to be quick or whatnot, but this is the realistic time frame for someone to recreate this from scratch, okay? One month. Now, after we are out of this phase, which is gonna be one month, then we need to learn the basics of JavaScript. And in my opinion, this takes roughly two months, okay? So two months to learn the basics of JavaScript. The basics of JavaScript are objects, arrays, you know, all the primitive data types, like null, undefined, numbers, strings, um, and booleans, okay? Those basic things, uh, working with the DOM, querying elements from the DOM, creating new elements on the DOM, understanding event listeners and whatnot, that's gonna take you roughly two months, in my opinion. Now, after we have this out of the way, Right now we have three months, right? And we have nine months left, right? What do we do next? Well, from my experience of working with people, the next phase after this is to start creating some projects and it's gonna take you roughly one month to build some basic projects, you know, like for example, for example, this or this. Let me just open them up. As you can see, this is what my students are making and I'm editing them and saving them and then sending them back to them after I, you know, review and whatnot. So I'm not giving you bullshit to do, like I'm actually giving you like real stuff to do, you know what I mean? Uh, and it's up to you if you wanna do it or not, but I'm literally giving you the, you know, the secret sauce. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's see, yeah, probably this is enough. So we have a random code calculator, that's a basic app, which is absolutely terrible. Uh, again, you don't need to be a designer to be a developer, but this is one of the basic apps. This is another basic app. I've told you in another video, hey, you should be able to replicate an Instagram post and understand like the data structures and whatnot. This is basically it, you know, making basic applications, okay? And that's gonna take you roughly one month. Another month is gonna be spent on building the staple applications, like the calculator, like the to-do app, like a Pomodoro app. Uh, these apps are like part of my program and I'm actually telling people to do exactly these things. And if you wanna see that, that I'm correct, if I go here in my program, where is it? Beginner JavaScript DOM, as you can see the Facebook post, Carson Farn, typewriter, typewriter is basically type something and then characters appear on the screen. Um, and then we have stacking tutorial hell, which is where most people are for many months or years. And then you have the calculator, the to-do app, the Pomodoro app. These apps are staples. They shouldn't be in your portfolio, but you should do them, okay? There is no way around it. Another month spent on that, and in total right now we have what? Five months, right, awesome. We have five months 
Now, one month is gonna be spent learning React and you should be building roughly the same applications that you've built so far, right? You're gonna rebuild everything that you've built with HTML, CSS and JavaScript. You'll rebuild with React so you understand why React is good and how is React going to help you from now on, if that makes sense, okay? What do we have? We have six months, we are six months in. After these six months, we need to spend three months building one big application, big app. And uh, a big app is like, for example, this one. It's gonna take you three months to build this. Again, it's gonna be a lot of effort. You learn a lot of things, other technologies and so on and so forth. Things like React Router, Redux and whatnot, style components, charting libraries, etc., etc. By the way, if you are interested in getting this, the link is in the description anyway, you can check it out. I'm giving away um, this application plus another two. So if you wanna build something for your portfolio, you can do so. The link for this is in the description of this video. But uh, yeah, you will spend three months here working on this big app because you need to put like all the stuff that you've learned, you need to put it together, okay? Right now, most people would jump into like trying to get a job like after this phase here, but that's wrong. You'll be suffering immensely. You don't wanna do that. You wanna spend three months building an app on your own, understanding how Git works and so on and so forth. And then what I've added new in my program and you could do this on your own as well, is spending three months working on a team project. Okay, so team project. So the reason why I need to spend three months working on a team project is because you as a developer, you will be working in a team. So you need to know how to do that, how to use Git properly in a team. It's totally different than using it by yourself how to manage your time, how to be reliable, how to communicate, learning new technologies that you've never even touched before. Because you know, programming is not just about writing code, it's about setting pipelines, deploying stuff, etc., etc. And then in these three months, if you work on a real project, like for example, this one that I'm offering here, then you could eventually collaborate with a team, find someone in a community or whatnot, you know, uh, I think there are a bunch of Slack channels, Facebook groups and whatever. Find a senior developer to help you out. Again, I'm doing this for my students, so you know, you can be part of that or you have to find someone to help you out. But this is how I would see the outline for a 12 month transformation. That's gonna take an average Joe to a paid developer. I hope this makes sense and I hope this helps you. And if you wanna, you know, know exactly what you have to do at every single step, and you need to have some sort of coach or mentor and if you want to work with me directly there is a link to be on the wait list for my program i think i don't know when you'll see this video and you can apply there and we can have a chat and i'll show you how this whole thing works and how is this gonna help you and benefit you with getting that first developer job so i guess that's it i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you next time